Problem solved. Ha! Look at that, baby. Look at her island like a dream. Look at that. 100,000 miles of island like a piece of shit. All caused by shape wires. Right here, brother. And that was, so if you're throwing a P3105, that is your problem. That's a short to the manifold flapper intake. Uh, solenoid. Rough idle. Runs better, good at high RPMs. Idles like crap. There is your problem. So there are tons of ALHs out there with this issue. And a lot of people couldn't figure it out. I put it together. As far as I know, I've solved this issue. So problem solved. At 414,000 miles. I am so glad I resolved that. I am so glad it's. I don't have a bad valve. God. Thank God. So anyway, what, what's been done here? Here's what I did. Let me shut this light off because it's interfering. And we'll go with our trusty old work light here. So what's happened is there was a short to the solenoid, which normally is mounted behind your uh, intake, which is stupid, I know, because on the motor and it's doing this shit all day long. Sorry, the excuse the French. I just this has been bugging me for a long time. So anyway, because the motor's shaking so much, because it's idling like a piece of shit, because the wires are chafed, which makes it worse. Your wires wind up just going to hell in a handbasket, and in this case, it idled so bad it broke the mount for this solenoid. So what I had done, and what they should have done from the factory, because you can see they put all these other solenoids up on the firewall, this was just a stupid-ass design. This solenoid shouldn't have been on the intake. It should have been on the firewall, reducing the amount of vibration going to that uh, wire. So these pair of wires have been replaced. Um, I trimmed them down into the socket, you know, about an inch out from the socket. Uh, hooked up new wires, so heat shrunk them. And then down in here, there's a connector that goes on top of this. Same thing here. These are the uh, connector pieces that I'll be putting back on. But, but before I do that, all these wires are going to get wrapped. So I'm going to wrap these with electrical tape. And I'm going to mount this solenoid. And I advise everybody that's got one of these ALH engines, get this damn solenoid off of this intake manifold and zip tie it up onto this line here. And it won't take the abuse. So now, I'm gonna, because now I solve one problem, I'm gonna go take a look at these mass airflow sensor wires up under this insulation cover. So I'll bet you they're all chafed up to hell, probably causing that mass airflow sensor code to throw, and if they're not chafed underneath there, then it has to be the plug. And I'm pretty sure it's the plug, but I'm gonna check the wires anyway, so. I've resolved one of the last two codes I've got going on this car that are worthy to, for me to address. And uh, thank goodness, man. I am so glad. Anyway, over and out. You got a rough island ALH TDI running like a turd. And you know, mechanics will tell you, I told them the flapper valve ain't working right. Flapper, oh no, man. They do all kinds of crazy stuff when you got the intake on. No, it ain't working right when the intake's on. But needless to say, you know, forget about it. You want to figure anything out, get off your ass, figure it out yourself. And if you want anything done right, get off your ass and do it yourself. It's just the way life is. So, Anyway, uh, hopefully this will help somebody. This will be the second video for the follow-up on the uh, P3105 code. And uh, problem solved. All right, over and out. Good luck.